So here we go. We are on our way to Jaipur. And I think it's a lovely day in Gurgaon and I'm hoping that the traffic does not play its point spot. Gurgaon and the road to Jaipur has been pretty notorious when it comes to traffic. Although the roads are pretty good. But I'm hoping that today the ride is smooth and we will be able to reach Jaipur in another four and a half to five years. Uh, five, uh, five years. <laughs> five hours from now. So I will be putting in a lot of uh, updates for every one of you on how this journey is, is going on. And I'm hoping that you enjoy this little journey of mine as much as I will enjoy driving it and reaching my destination. So until then, I will see you. driving and I'm not driving very quickly I am at around 60 to 70 at this point in time but the moment you see a puddle you try to maneuver around it it's very difficult to brake because you might just have another car that's traveling at the same speed or even higher right behind you but then when you want to maneuver around it you, know, you might just you might just put yourself as well as the car and others on risk as well so just be a little careful on that otherwise the road's pretty safe around uh, 1 hour 40 minutes away from Jaipur and the road's pretty neat now um, there are very few puddles and, and these bits here so I think the driving is far safer than it was in the previous patches that I encountered there's a little bit of more greenery this side of the world I think that I can to my right and to my left I can see a lot of trees and a lot of fields and right in front of me I can see these beautiful small little hills you know, that really give me this hope that there is uh, you know that, that the world is still very beautiful and and while development is amazing right and you know quality of life in trees as well as people getting richer is all very good but as long as you have nature that blossoms along with it. I think we've done a very good job. The mountains always remind me of uh, the place where I grew. This is called Tajiling. I did my schooling there. And every morning when we used to get up, you'd see this amazing view of the Kanjanjanga. And that memory still remains with me. So whenever I see or whenever I get a chance to look at a mountain, or see a mountain or a hill, somehow I feel that, you know, in in some time I'll, I'll be able to behold a site like that of a Kanjanjanga. Well, it doesn't happen, but it still gives me that feeling and it takes me back to the place where I used to be a kid, play the fool, you know, hang out with friends and just watch the sun kiss the, the amazing, um, you know, the ice caps of the Kanjanjanga. So we do a stop at uh, Manat for like 20 to 30 minutes just to have some tea and rejuvenate uh, oneself. I think the tea was amazing. Uh, I really try my best to make the same kind of tea at home. But every time I do so, I fail miserably. So it's weird that I have to travel so much to just have those kinds of teas. But I, I am a big fan. Uh, having been born brought up in Darjeeling, you know, I, have, I, I still love the tea there, but I also have a huge, huge um, taste for teas 
that are found uh, in places like like north of India, especially the masala chai, uh, you know, and and the normal karak chai.